ABC songs, learning about walruses, and drawing. Saw those two emails this morning. Let's see if it's a good morning. Um, drinking the coffee. Ready to get to these loads. So we're booked. We just got a call from a broker we've kind of made a little relationship with, C.H. Uh, Robinson guy, um, based out of here in South Carolina area. And here are some emails again from another broker. This was a three letter broker. Um, and he had a couple loads around the area, a couple of Florida, a couple of short ones. And he proceeded to tell me that the Georgia market's different than the South Carolina, North Carolina market. That's why I should take $900 to Alachua, Georgia from Hendersonville, North Carolina, which is like 480 miles and it was heavy. And I said, I disagree, buddy. Um, I, I live here, so I know the market. Um, one other thing, this little guy right here, it has like a glass ball inside that brass fitting. It's a siphon thing, a little siphon pump. We can see who makes it or whatever, but I bought it on line for about $12. And when I was rebuilding my engine at Haggai Diesel, H-A-G-G-A-I, look them up, H-A-G-G-A-I in Griffin, Georgia. They are the best people for, if you have a Cummins motor, they work on all the different motors, but Cummins is their specialty. And that's where I rebuilt my motor did my in frame um but yeah they are great guys and also i'm gonna get a little diet coke out of here that's my that's my jam that's my bud light for my father-in-law but this is the wife's new beer right here look it up steel hands coffee lager it's like it's not like a stout like guinness it's like a um like a bud light with a coffee aftertaste so we're gonna get going get the truck warmed up but this load was was a killer it's um going to columbia south carolina from anderson about 120 miles and that is uh i don't know what the miles per rate per mile is but it's pretty dang good fifteen hundred dollars so oh we got a little, little friend that came out here what's up how you doing good. what are you doing get crazy kids in there yeah and we're gonna bring the kids on this run to get loaded get so shoes? you might have to come pick them up though because this area anderson mm -hmm. um sometimes it, with, it's a toilet paper place so that might be like really backlogged so you might have to come get us well, let me know. Yeah, let's get back to the truck, get these kids loaded. Something amazing, Captain. A whole school Jason, what of you hammerhead doing? shark pups. Well, be careful. If they're babies, their parents might be nearby. Well, actually, hammerhead parents don't take care of their pups at all. They're if you don't know about the octonauts, you're missing out. The pups stick Sunny out over. here. The little man came, other big, other man's in the back. But I have never seen it so busy here but then again they got the good stuff toilet paper first quality in South Carolina so let's get a door and uh, get this stuff going so I've never seen this place this busy uh, but then again this is where all the toilet paper's at so just talked to the lady inside got checked in and she said they have abundance of toilet paper they just can't get it out quick enough so that is probably why they are paying so well on this load. Hopefully they uh, can get another one out of here. But um, yeah, first quality, Anderson, South Carolina, loaded up with trucks. We're all the way down to door 71 where that guy down there is pulling in. All right, God bless, let's get this door. Oh yeah, still a green light. Been here about two hours now, so. We're going to have to uh, get some detention. So you can see in those emails that um, this guy didn't even know I was close to South Carolina. He thought I was in Georgia still. And he's telling me that across the country is a different market when South Carolina or Atlanta and where I live is an hour away from each other. So their excuses or their reasoning for what they're saying is ridiculous. But we got this load. Um, it's taking a while to get loaded. So uh, probably gonna have mom come get the kids. It's about a 35 minute drive from home, but I don't want to keep him here all night, so I'll just go to sleep once she picks him up. 
Yeah, it delivers at 6 a.m. and then we'll see if we can get some for Saturday. But uh um, watching the Octonauts with these two dudes. We're going to make a sea pig pool. Alright. Uh, and then now we uh went to McDonald's, I'll show you that right here. And uh God bless this coronavirus. I hope this gets out of here for everybody and we can uh, get back to normal life. In the meantime though. We'll get this toilet paper on the trailer and get it delivered to Target. God bless. So we are at McDonald's, and uh, of course we can't drive through, so Dad's gonna go meet a friend. Maybe that minivan down there, who knows. Uh, cash, chicken nuggets? Case and french fries only? All right, say bye guys. Bye bye. What else are we gonna say, what else you want, buddy? You might take a yogurt? Okay, he yeah, wants a yogurt too. Yogurt. Oh, you want a yogurt too? Okay. Alright, I guess I'm gonna get another kid in this. See the fan? Oh, that van down there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go make a friend. And uh, <laughs> see how this goes. It's too big to go through, so I need to make a friend. You can't come too, because I'm gonna make a friend. Say hi. And uh, they're gonna order for us, like maybe that black truck right there. That guy looks nice. I'll be right back, Bubba. We dropped the trailer and uh, now we're gonna find a friend to order some McDonald's. Because you can't drive through, look at that. Nine feet of clearance. Not happening. So uh, we'll make a friend maybe in this Dodge Ram. All right, so Mr. Dodge Ram right here, he, he let me order with him. Pretty funny guy, he did a uh, Big Mac Whopper meal, which they laughed at him, but it's busy out here. Everyone's eating in the parking lot. Hanging out, and uh, we're three cars back, so we're gonna get get it going. But uh, that's how you do the, uh, the food these days, coronavirus, and uh, get some toilet paper. We should have plenty in a little bit. Maybe it's paper towels, but it's probably toilet paper. Let's see. Waiting for the rain. <laughs> 